Hi, grade 5 students. I miss you so much. This is week 1 in semester 4 and this is our first video lecture. In this video, we will review the electricity lesson. We will talk about current electricity, how to build an electric circuit, what are the different parts of a simple electric circuit, um, how to draw an electric circuit using symbols, and we will describe how circuits work. Uh, we'll, classify, we'll classify things uh, into insulators and conductors of electricity for sure. We will describe also or we will tell the differences between series circuits and parallel circuits. Okay, are you ready? In order to answer the question shown in the slide, we have first to define electricity. Electricity is a kind of energy that can stay in one place but also flow from one place to another. Electricity that moves from one place to another is called current electricity. When electrons move, they take electrical energy from one place to another. This is called current electricity. For an electric current to happen, they must be a um, circuit. A circuit is a closed path. Take a look on this switch in here. So the current, uh, the electrical current cannot happen if the circuit isn't closed. Okay? So a circuit is a closed path or loop around which an electric current flows. This circuit is usually made by linking electrical components together. So electric current is a flow of electric charge taken by electrons. Electrons flow in a circuit. The picture in front of you, or this uh, drawing, shows you a simple electric circuit. And as I said, uh, a circuit is a complete path around which electricity can flow. It must include a source of electricity, such as a battery, materials that allow electric current to pass through them easily, like in here the copper wires. These wires can be used to link the positive and negative ends of uh, a battery creating a circuit, okay? Here, we can see a simple circuit composed uh, or uh, that consists of a battery, wires, and a light bulb. Here is a second one. Um, this, this series circuit is made of a battery, wires, and two light bulbs. This one also have two. Uh, light bulbs connected in a different way and uh, a battery and wire. Circuits can be drawn as lines and symbols and each component of the circuits has um, its own uh, symbols. We have here an open switch, a battery, the lines are the wires and this is a light bulb. So again here is the symbol of a lamp, the battery with its positive and negative uh, terminals, the open switch, and the closed switch. Let's try to figure out what does this circuit consist. This uh, circuit is made of a battery, two lamps connected to each other, they are in parallel, and an open uh, switch. Do you know how to draw this um, circuit? This is a closed circuit since the uh, lamp is on, the light bulb is on, and I'll try to draw it in symbols. I'll try to draw it using symbols. I'll try, I'll start drawing the Battery, positive side, negative side. To, to make the wires, you need to draw straight lines. There is no switch. And 
this is the light but I'll add something this is the flow of electrons in this complete circuit electrons move from the negative side of a battery to its positive side so I transformed this uh, circuit to a diagram and I used the correct symbols you need a closed path or closed circuit to get electric current to flow if there is a break anywhere in the path you have an open circuit and the current stops flowing and uh, we have no um, electric current flowing in our circuit the first circuit shows an open circuit since the switch is off it's open so there is a gap in here and electrons cannot flow anymore in the circuit they cannot jump in the air so they need um, a conductor material to throw uh, to flow through it okay this is open there is a gap in here so electrons cannot pass and this is an open circuit so the light bulb is off while in here the switch is on there is no gaps in the circuit electrons will pass from the negative terminal in the circuit to uh, uh, from the negative terminal of the battery to its positive side this is a closed circuit so the light bulb is on in the previous slides we were talking about copper wires copper is an excellent conductor of electricity Conductors are substances that an electric charge can pass through without difficulty, okay? An electric charge cannot pass through an insulator easily. Different types of atoms make a substance a conductor or an insulator, okay? Like you see in here, that wooden pencil acts as an insulator since it does not allow electricity to pass through. This is an open circuit. This circuit is uh, not complete, is incomplete, and the light bulb isn't on. Since the wood isn't a good conductor of electricity, it's an insulator, since it doesn't allow the electrons to pass through it. While iron metals are in general good conductors of electricity, they allow electricity to pass through them, and as you can see in here, the light bulb is on, okay? So iron is um, an excellent conductor of electricity, okay? Take a look. We have here a rubber band. The rubber band is for sure an insulator since the light uh, bulb isn't on. It's off. This is an open circuit. Uh, rubber bands do not allow the flow of electricity. This key, the key is made of metals, and as we said, metals are excellent conductors of electricity. This is a complete circuit. Metals allow uh, the flow of electrons through, through them. Okay, the pan is an insulator. I think this is a plastic pan. Plastic isn't a conductor. It is an uh, insulator. And so this is an open circuit. The light bulb is off. And the pin in here, the pin is made of metal. Metals are good conductors. They allow, they let uh, the electric charge pass through uh, without difficulty either. Okay? Let's take a look on this. We used a can, a metal can. We were supposed to have a complete circuit, but since it's painted, and paint is an insulator, so that means that uh, the circuit is open and paint is an insulator. It does not allow the flow of electricity. Take a look on these two uh, circuits. In the first one, we used metals. 
metals, as I said, are conductors. They let electric charges uh, move through them easily. So when we close the switch, the light bulb is on. That means that the circuit is complete. There is nothing that blocks uh, the uh, flow of electrons through the circuit. And uh, uh, we can say that metals are good conductors of electricity. Why? In this case, in this uh, circuit, we use thermics, and uh, electrons did not flow. We closed the switch, but the circuit is still incomplete. The light isn't on. That means that ceramics are insulators. Okay. The components of an electrical circuit can be connected in series or in parallel. Components connected in series are connected along a single conductive path. Okay? So, electrons will leave the negative terminal of a battery to go in one pathway. Electrons do not have a second choice. So, they need to follow the only path that they have. So, in series, a circuit we have one pathway for the electrons to go through. A parallel circuit has a parallel circuit has two or more paths for current to flow through. So electrons will leave the negative terminal of a battery and it will have two pathways to go through. Path one and path two. Okay, sometimes it ha electrons have more than two paths. In this case, we have two paths. So electrons will leave this side of the battery. They will have two pathways to uh, flow through. So again, series circuit consists of one single pathway, while a parallel circuit consists of more than uh, two or uh, more pathways uh, through which uh, electrons can move. Again, a circuit that has only one path, one path for the current to follow is a series circuit. The electric current will leave the battery. It will move to the first bulb, second bulb, third bulb, and back to the battery. If these three bulbs are in damage, they will all glow. If one of these bulbs is missing or damaged, the flow of charges will stop and the whole circuit will fail and stop. Okay? So, this, if we remove one of these uh, bulbs, the circuit will be open and the whole circuit, the whole flow of electricity will stop. In a parallel circuit, we have more than one path for the electric current to flow. If the electrons are stopped from flowing along one path, they will keep moving across another. So in here we have three closed paths. The electric current can flow through these uh, three bulbs and light all of them. If one bulb is, mit is missing or damaged, the electric current ca can still travel through the other bulbs. Okay, so if we this one is uh, damaged or is missed, the flow of electricity will keep moving from this one, this way, and this way. Okay. This video will explain more about series, the differences between series circuits and parallel circuits. As you can see, this is a series circuit. Since electrons have only one pathway to travel through, they will leave the negative terminal of the battery. They will go through the copper wire, so the first uh, bulb, second bulb, and then back to the battery. If the switch is off, or if one of the uh, light bulbs is missing or damaged, the whole circuit will fail. Why? Take a look on this. 
And this is a parallel circuit. Electrons have two pathways to go through. They will leave the uh, negative terminal of the battery to go through the first pathway and to go through the second pathway. If one of the uh, light bulbs is missing or damaged, the second one will keep lighting. So, light, light, light. Look in here, the wire is cut, but the second uh, light bulb is still on. So, dear ones, you must be able now to define the current electricity. What's current electricity? You must tell the different parts of a simple electric circuit. What is an electric circuit made of? You uh, should know how to draw a light bulb, a switch, open switch, closed switch, the wires connect them, uh, connect a battery to the light bulbs uh, using light, which are the wires. Um, you must uh, distinguish between open and closed uh, circuits and classify things as insulators and conductors of electricity and tell the differences between a series a circuit and a parallel circuits. Hope to see you soon. Um, stay safe. I love you. Bye bye.